Hi everyone, I'm Caelan Burrows and this is a briefer history of the past. Candy canes are synonymous with Christmas and during the month of December sell more than any other non-chocolate candy. Their hook shape makes them ideal as a treat or a tree decoration. But was that their original purpose? Well, obviously not. Otherwise, they'd be called candy hooks, wouldn't they? You know, my best guess, they was made to help invalid mice get around the cage without cutting down tiny trees. Are you crazy? Is that your problem? While it's not known exactly when the first candy cane was made, it is believed to have been created in Germany during the 17th century when pulled sugars were very popular. The first candy canes were completely straight, white, and flavoured with just sugar. Straight and white, eh? That sounds like the German ideal. Um, I, I, would, I would like to apologise to the German people for my insensitive comments. Um, you know, the people of Germany are just as gay as everyone else in the world. Why are you shaking your head? One popular legend about the origin of candy canes is that in 1670 at the Cologne Cathedral, a choir master handed out sugar sticks to the young boys to keep them quiet during the ceremony. Those in charge complained that the church was not a place for sweets, so the choir master added the hook shape to make the candy resemble a shepherd's staff. I thought they added that shape to remind the kids what they were beaten with when they disobeyed. <laughs> what? I would like to apologise to the church for my insensitive comments. Um, you know, what you beat children with is your own business. What? Well, if you don't tell me what I'm apologising for, I have to keep guessing, don't I? <laughs> Candy canes wouldn't be used for a Christmas celebration until 1847 in Worcester, Ohio, in the United States, when German-Swedish immigrant August Imgard decorated their Christmas tree with candy canes and paper ornaments. Who chooses to immigrate to Ohio? What? Prepare an apology to Ohio? Typical. As with the origin of the candy itself, the addition of the red stripe is also a bit of a mystery, with a number of urban legends surrounding it, including one that claims the red stripe is a symbol for the blood of Jesus. Well, if that was true, I'm glad they left it out of the marketing. Never would have caught on. Here you go, lad. Happy Christmas. What's that? It's a sugar stick wrapped in the blood of Jesus. <laughs> I don't want to eat the blood of Jesus. <laughs> it's thought that the stripes were added around the same time as the peppermint flavour, when mass production made the confectioning process easier, though it was still labour intensive, requiring all the hooks to be added by hand as they came off the production line. This resulted in a lot of breakage and unusable canes. Yeah, it was the fault of the process, not employees wanting to get free candy canes. Oh no! This one's broken! Don't worry, I'll eat it! Around 1920, Bob McCormack of Georgia, who ran a candy company that would become known as Bob's Candies, is thought to be the first to give candy canes as Christmas treats. And in the 1950s, Bob's brother-in-law, Gregory Keller, invented a machine specifically designed to automate the process of twisting soft candy into spiral striping and cutting it. This made production a breeze, and Bob's company became the first to mass-produce and distribute candy canes worldwide. I wish I had a brother-in-law to invent a device to automate the video editing process. Logical. Today, candy canes still dominate the Christmas season, coming in a variety of colours and flavours, including Sour Patch Kids, Swedish Fish, Klondike Bar, Oreo, Coffee, Soda, and a plethora of novelty flavours intended to make you throw up, like Clam, Pickle, Gravy, and Coal. But if you ask me, I prefer the original. Well, not... Not, not the original original, because that would be, you know, all white with just plain sugar. I'm talking about peppermint. What flavour did I just put in my mouth? Ketchup? This is a ketchup candy cane. <laughs> there you have it everyone, a brief history of candy canes. Let me know the best or worst flavour of candy cane you've ever tried in the comments below. Thanks, and I'll see you all in the future. Well they really got that ketchup flavour down didn't they? That's disgusting. Alright, one more take for the blood of Jesus then eh?
Thanks for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like and a share. Don't forget to subscribe and click that bell icon to be notified when more Brief History of the Past videos go up. Happy Christmas!